Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the day four sessions of the Agile development. In this uh, session, we'll talk about that uh, different, different Agile user. The first day we talk about the Scrum user and we created a user and we give them the role. And based on that, they are performing certain actions. They, will, they will be able to access the module, the left navigation. Today, we'll create that Scrum team member, we'll create the product owner and then Scrum master. These three, uh, we'll go, we are going to create that. So um, without wasting time, let's get started. So very first thing is that we say that the Scrum user, the Scrum user is the customer who, you, who are going to see the read only on the story epic defect. Now we will talk about the Scrum team member. Who is the Scrum team member? The Scrum team member is nothing but the user who are going to develop that in our platform. Let's say that I am the developer and I have the Scrum team member. I can create the story. I can create the epic. I can create the defect. So what I'll do here, I'll go back to the Agile uh, module here again. And under this Agile, you can see that create Agile groups. Here I'll say that Agile um, um, developer. one so this is my one of the groups so developers one and once you click uh, submit that this group will have automatically as per our um, by default the scrum user and what else we are going to do that i am going to add one more roll call if i um, add that scrum team member here so apart from the agile uh, uh, scrum user we are going to add that scrum um, team member role for that, I'll just simply add this Scrum team member. So this user is added here. Now in this group member, I am going to add one group. So what I'll do, I'll, I'm, I'm going to add one user called Scrum um, team member user. So this team member is nothing but it's a developer. So team member is nothing but an agile developer to whom we are going to impersonate and see what they can do for the timing. So once we added that user, so I'm going to, I'm going to impersonate that user first here. So I'll click impersonate user and search with that and impersonate that user. Once we impersonate that, um, this pop-up is coming. I'll just cross that and here I'll search with that agile and you can see they can see this complete module here. But if I click the products, you can see they can't create that products. They, the team member cannot create the product. What they can create as per our says that create and modify access on story, epic and defect. They can create story, they can create epic, they can create the defect. What is epic, what is defect or we'll discuss in our uh, upcoming video. But for the time being, understand that they can they they can go to the products uh, you know they can go to the groups okay then they can um, go to the release you know but they don't have any new button to create that okay they can go to the themes they can i mean this these all have they have read only access App, apart from that they have options to create the story and once you go to the story module you can see this new button is available for them. They can create the story. They can enhance that story. They can create the enhancement and they can create the defects. So these three things, they have the create access and the modify access. So they can update the status of this um, defect uh, state, status, or work notes, everything. Similarly, they can update the enhancement details. So you can see that they can more, you know, update the enhancement status. Similarly, they can go to the story and they can modify that. So the point I'm trying to make here, the team member is actual the developer. They have access to the modify access and create um, the story, but they don't really access on the theme and uh, uh, you know they don't have the theme access or the product access. They can't create theme, they can't create product, they can't create the release. So this is uh, one user called a uh, team member team member basically is the developer who are going to develop in the developer instance. So in the production, they don't have to have the admin access. So they can just modify these all these stuff. 
So that's agile group that we have created. And then next we'll talk about that scrum team member is done. We'll talk about the scrum master. So scrum master can do what thing they can create, modify theme and release and the product owner. So first we'll go by product owner, the scrum master will discuss later. So first I'll go back here and again type the agile and here I'm going to create one more uh, group called agile. Okay. PO group or PO something that's it. So this is my group name agile PO in this group what will be happen all the product owner will be there and as we created this automatically scrum user added I am going to add one more role inside that called product owner. So I'll just click edit and search with the product owner. So you can see this Scrum product owner, I need to add this role. Once we add it and I'm going to impersonate that, uh, I mean, I'm going to add one user also, the Scrum product owner that we have created. So I'll search with that user and add that user to this group. So once we added that user to the groups, I'll impersonate, simply impersonate this user. called scrum product owner and impersonate and go here and search with that agile you can see the similar modules are available but if we go back to the products right now you can see inside the product they have a new button and so that product owner can create their product and then the add themselves. So if the user have a scrum product owner, they have a access or ability to modify the product, um, you know, update the product details. So you can see this, they can create the product, they can, you know, uh, create, um, update this product. And after that, they can go to the release. They can modify the release. And then uh, if they can go to the groups, they can, modify the groups everything they can do one by one so basically the product owner have access to uh, you know uh, modify the products um, updating that products everything um, they have so they can modify the story different enhancement everything now the finally we are going to talk about the scrum master I am going to create one more group called scrum master so you can go I if I go back to the agile so Agile developer we created, Agile PO we created and then we created one more group called Agile Read Only Access. This group we have created. Now we are going to create one more group called Agile, uh, uh, you know, I'll just end the impersonation and I'll going, I'm going to create one more group called the Scrum Master group. So what I'll do, I'll go back to the here called Agile and then uh, create Agile groups. Under this group, I'll say that agile scrum master so this group will have for all the scrum master and here i am going to add one a role called scrum master role and then add the user to the scrum master user so if we go back to the edit mode here and then search with the scrum master I can see the role I'll add that role and under this group member I am going to edit and add these groups or the user so this scrum master user I'm going to add here so the scrum master have this scrum master role and then I am going to impersonate the scrum master and see what access they have so if I impersonate that user and search with this agile here they can see all these uh, definitely uh, all these details but if we go back to the products they can't modify that the product owner have access to create the product but scrum master doesn't have access to 
modify the product. So you can see they don't have uh, access to modify the product. They don't have access to modify the theme. They have, uh, if I go back to the Epic, they have uh, ability to modify the Epic. So basically, Pro uh, Scrum Master have a role on level of the Epic, um, all those stuffs. Now that's all about the user. If I go back to here, the call, um, you know, that uh, agile details. We, if you see here, this is the structure we are going to discuss. The product theme, uh, epic, and then story. This is the hierarchy we have into the agile. We'll discuss this topic in our next video. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Have a great day.